James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 30th, 2023, 11.30 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Protons are still hitting Earth's atmosphere. For the second day in a row, energetic protons from the sun are raining down on Earth's atmosphere. This is called a radiation storm. This one is an S1 class and it is caused by a magnificent eruption on July 28th. The blast site was hidden from view just behind the sun's northwestern limb. Each orbiting satellite registered an M4 class solar flare, but the underlying explosion was stronger. It was an X flare partially eclipsed by the edge of the sun. How can a sunspot not facing Earth send so many protons in our direction? The answer, the Parker spiral. Take a look. As the sun spins, its magnetic field spirals like water flowing from a twirling lawn sprinkler. Lines of magnetic force emerge from behind the sun's northwestern limb where the explosion occurred spiral back and make a direct connection to earth it's a super highway for energetic protons meanwhile this radiation storm looks like it will continue at s1 levels for at least one more day its main effect is a polar cap absorption event a pca this event was antagonized further by an M1.76 solar flare that occurred just after 8 UTC time or just about 1.45 last night central time. Right now, shortwave radios around the North Pole aren't working very well. This global map shows you which frequencies are most affected. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're still in a polar cap absorption event. They're admitting that this was an X flare, but they are quoting no magnitude. And they're telling us how the protons are hitting Earth from this solar flare that was eclipsed by the limb of the sun today. And there is the M flare that hit again just after about 1.45 Central Time here in the U.S. God bless you and yours. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.